Waiting for events. A tour of C++, concurrency and utilities. Sometimes, a thread needs to wait for some kind of external event, such as another thread completing a task or a certain amount of time having passed. The simplest event is simply time passing. Consider Using namespace std, chrono Auto t0 equals high resolution clock, now This thread sleep 4 milliseconds, 20 Auto t1 equals high resolution clock, now See out duration cast nanoseconds, t1 minus t0, dot count, nanoseconds passed, new line Note that I didn't even have to launch a thread, by default, this thread refers to the one and only thread. I used duration cast to adjust the clock's units to the nanoseconds I wanted, the time facilities are found in chrono. The basic support for communicating using external events is provided by condition variables found in condition variable. A condition variable is a mechanism allowing one thread to wait for another. In particular, it allows a thread to wait for some condition, often called an event, to occur as the result of work done by other threads. Consider the classical example of two threads communicating by passing messages through a queue. For simplicity, I declare the queue and the mechanism for avoiding race conditions on that queue global to the producer and consumer. Class message, object to be communicated. Q message MQ, the Q of messages. Condition variable MCOND, the variable communicating events. Mutex M mutex, the locking mechanism. The types Q, condition variable, and mutex are provided by the standard library. The consumer reads and processes messages. Void consumer. While true. Unique lock mutex LCK, M mutex, acquire M mutex. While M cond wait, LCK, forward slash asterisk do nothing asterisk forward slash, release LCK and wait. Reacquire LCK upon wake up. Auto M equals MQ dot front, get the message. MQ dot pop. LCK unlock, release LCK. Process M. Here, I explicitly protect the operations on the queue and on the condition variable with a unique lock on the mutex. Waiting on condition variable releases its lock argument until the wait is over, so that the queue is non empty, and then reacquires it. The corresponding producer looks like this Void producer. While true. Message M. Fill the message. Unique lock mutex LCK, M mutex, protect operations. MQ dot push, M. M cond notify 1, notify. Release lock at end of scope. Using condition variables supports many forms of elegant and efficient sharing, but can be rather tricky. Thank you for watching.